Hey there, and welcome back. Welcome back to Me Too, I guess. Uh, great to be with you again. And we're starting today with one of those stories that's been bubbling up here over the past year. Today, the pot has officially boiled over. In this case, another Somali piracy at sea. Now, this time involving this supertanker, the Saudi MV Sirius Star, seized off the coast of Kenya and now in the hands of Somali pirates. <laughs> Ship to shore voice here of what's believed to be one of those pirates giving instructions on ransom. Now, piracy off Somalia, nothing new, but the location of this attack and the size of the ship continue an ongoing escalation. For example, this Russian ship here, the Kapitan Maslov, still bearing scars of a recent run in and eventual escape from those trying to seize her. Now, NATO and other groups have stepped up military patrols in the area. Uh, but it's quite apparent that the situation is only getting worse. They're very good at what they do. Uh, they're, they're highly, you know, they're very well armed. Tactically, they're very good. And so once they get to a point where they can board, it becomes very difficult to get them off because clearly now they hold hostages. Saudi Arabia now joining the ranks of the many nations demanding that something substantive be done. And until then, the MV Sirius star and her crew remain in the hands of pirates. Wow, talk about your volatile news stories. Uh, well, for changing news like this and so much more, just stop by our website, voanews.com, for all of the latest every minute of every day. It's the world at your fingertips, voanews.com. A little segment for you now that we're calling Yet More Sure Signs of the Impending End of Times. Okay, maybe not so much, uh, but still a great way to link these next two items. Starting with Sign of the Apocalypse number 374, locusts. Swarms of them now rampaging through New South Wales, Australia, said to be numbered in the billions of them. Hey, look, I'm on TV. Uh, Frank, tell me honest, does this make me look fat? Yeah, okay. Enough of that. Uh, the swarms devouring precious crops in an already drought-stricken area. The government says there's no need to panic. Uh, despite telling people that these swarms are, quote, significant in size, upward of 6 kilometers long and 170 meters deep. Hmm. Uh, don't panic, huh? Well, how about now? Charlize Theron is now a United Nations ambassador. Uh, no, really. Uh, in what must surely be sign of the apocalypse number 375, actress Charlize Theron has been named an official UN messenger of peace by Secretary Ban Ki-moon himself. Very nice. Uh, and if it comes with a pin, you know it must be official. Uh, actually, we kid, and we also point out that Ms. Theron, no Josephine come lately to good deeds, for years she's worked to combat violence against women around the world. We just like this story because we've never seen so many bashful diplomats in the same setting all at once. Hmm, wonder why. Uh, finally today, just little over four days left before leaders of the 21 Pacific Rim nations head off to Peru for the annual APEC meetings. And with nations like Russia, China, and the U.S., and many others represented, you know there's going to be a lot of bigwigs on hand. And so we take you now to Peru and... Oh, my God! Oh, okay, wait. This is just a drill. A military drill a rather gruesome one, if you ask us, uh, all to show the world that Peruvian security is ready for anything. Well, no light promise, given that the threats exist. Revolutionaries, rioters, and foam. Or espuma in Spanish. Uh, in scenes reminiscent of all those old foam dance parties we used to go to in the 90s, Peruvian military types here wading through piles of foam just to prove they can. Well, actually, the foam, not a threat, but a decontaminant, uh, if you can see where you're going. So anyone suspected of chemical contamination just takes a quick dunk through the scrubbing bubbles, and then it's off to the rinse cycle. The new process, considered to be cutting edge by security officials, none of whom were under the spritzers. Uh, perhaps I really shouldn't be talking about all those foam dance parties I used to go to. Well, that is your download for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Uh -huh.